do have video coming in from the Bakersfield area close to the epicenter. Eyewitness News reporter Tim Pulliam continues our live team coverage from our Eyewitness Newsroom. Tim. Jory, this new video is coming from a liquor store. Some customers got a big surprise when the 5.2 magnitude earthquake hit. Now take a look. This is security video from Verdugo Market and Liquor. Now the video starts with two female customers who are patiently waiting for the clerk who is behind the counter. You can even see one of the ladies on the phone. Within seconds, they feel the shaking. You can see it there. All of them run out of the store as several items begin to fall from the shelves. Now, it appears from the video that the earthquake lasted less than five seconds. We're looping this video so you can see just how chaotic the situation became for those witnesses. Now, this store is located on Mettler Frontage Road. Now, that is in the community of Mettler. It's an area that is less than 10 miles away from the quake's epicenter. Now, when the shaking stopped, people went back into the store, which is now a mess. We reached out to the store clerk to see if he wanted to share his experience. But understandably, they were not ready to talk. A lot of people are anxious tonight after feeling the earth move around them. In the newsroom, Tim Pulliam, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Especially that close to the epicenter. Tim, thank you. An earthquake here in Southern California means we will be treated to the expertise of seismologist Dr. Lucy Jones. We always wind up feeling a little smarter after having listened to Dr. Jones. And that was the case again tonight. The location is at the southern end of the Central Valley. So it's very near where we had a magnitude 7.5 in 1952. However, it does not appear to be on the same fault as that earthquake. That was the White Wolf Fault, which dips in a different direction. And it doesn't look like this earthquake was associated with any known fault is our preliminary uh, assessment. Um, it is having a lot of aftershocks. We've already had two above magnitude four and uh, four above magnitude three, between magnitude three and four. So that's a pretty active sequence for, for uh, this very short amount of time since the event. And this video just in from the five freeway through the grapevine where a huge boulder came rolling down a hillside landing in the middle of the roadway. CHP officers on scene now directing traffic as three lanes of the southbound five are now closed. This is all happening about a mile south of Grapevine Road. A lot of big rig trucks use the grapevine to head into LA overnight and traffic is already backed up for miles. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.